In this week's episode, I will show you Joshua Tree National Park, focusing on the scenery and sights of Park Boulevard, all the way from the West Entrance Station to the North Entrance Station. I'll give you the sights and information. This is day one in Joshua Tree National Park. Next week, I'll bring you day two, where I actually go to Cottonwood Entrance and back. Hi, I'm Dom, Cowboy Bob. Biker Adventures, the Imperfect RV Travel and Adventure Channel. Will you please join me on this week's adventure of Joshua Tree National Park? By the way, if you've never been here before, it's not just about Joshua Trees. Those that have been here before already know what I'm talking about. We are entering the park from the west entrance, that's the entrance closest to Joshua Tree, California. It was about a 15 minute wait. I didn't show you the whole line, but it was a this. I did not notice the sign that says, pass holders, right lane. Thank goodness this lady was out here directing traffic, and I do have a pass. I have a senior pass, so if you have a national park pass of any type, you get to bypass this line somewhere. By the way, as we're getting started here, and while you're thinking about it, could you subscribe to my channel? It would really help me out. At the time of this recording, I have between one and 2,000 views a day, yet only have 244 subscribers. So if you could help me out and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Now, if this park was only about Joshua Trees, all you'd have to do is drive down Park Boulevard and see the sights from your car. And even though there is miles and miles of Joshua Trees, I think that'd be very boring after a while. So on this first day, I think I drove maybe 50 miles or so. Obviously, I won't show you the whole thing. I did cut out sections of the ride because I know your time is very valuable. Just before the credits, I'll give you a map of the whole park and then I'll give you a close-up of the area where I investigated this first day. After the credits, I hope you stay around for bonus video of Jumbo Rock Campground. I'd like to show you a couple scenes from next week's video, and that would be Joshua Tree National Park Day 2, and also I'm going to announce the winner of the drawing for the free Android tablet I'm giving away, so be sure to stick around after the credits. Joshua Tree National Park is a very large park. In the two days I rode around in this park, I rode about 175 miles throughout the park. It is where two distinct desert ecosystems come together. The two deserts are the Mojave Desert and the Colorado Desert. Our first stop will be Intersection Rock.
Intersection Rock marks an intersection in climbing history. During the mid-1960s to the early 1970s, climbing groups like the Desert Rats established many of the popular routes here. Before we get back on the Park Boulevard, let's go across it to Hidden Valley Picnic Area, which I think is pretty cool. Lots of rocks, you'll find people climbing on the rocks having a good time with their family and friends. It's time. Oh, it's time. I'm burning the wire. Take me out to California Take me out to California I feel the day is coming to an end And my eyes are drawn to southern skies And all the while I was trying to pretend The promised land was there beyond the The streets are paved with gold And no one ever gets old I'll be longing for that day Till you come and take me home California, California Here I come I've seen it all Let's get back on Park Boulevard Heading east Which means we'll be passing Cat Rock, Oyster Bar Hall of Course, Sheep Pass Jumbo Rocks and our next stop is Skull Rock. I filmed this day one of Joshua Tree National Park on March the 18th, 2021. So have you figured out what Joshua Tree is known for besides Joshua Trees? And yes, there are hundreds of thousands of acres of Joshua Trees here in the park. But you can get Joshua Trees other places too. For example, when I was in Area 51, and yes, that video is coming, there's plenty of Joshua trees. But Joshua Tree National Park is also known for its many large rock formations, and they are beautiful.
skull rock began to form a long time ago when rain drops accumulated in tiny depressions and started to erode the granite. As more rock eroded, more water accumulated, leading to more erosion until as time passed, two hollowed out eye sockets formed and the rock began to resemble a skull. Located along the main east-west Park Road, Skull Rock is a favorite stop for park visitors. It is located right on Park Boulevard and is a short hike from Jumbo Rock Campground. Okay, it's time to get back on the road. That's Park Boulevard heading east, really more like northeast. And it's about six miles to the intersection where you can turn south to go to Cottonwood entrance down by I-10, which is where I went on day two. Here's the intersection where you can turn south and head to Cottonwood entrance just north of I-10. I would say, if memory serves me correctly, it may be as much as 50 miles down to I-10, possibly a little further. This is where I went on day two. But today we're going to head north about five miles to the north entrance of the park, not far from 29 Palms. California and I'll show you what that entrance and exit looks like Here we are coming up on the exit and entrance of the park on the north side of the park by 29 Palms. All I'm going to do here is go out of the park and make a U.E. come right back in and exit the park the way I came. They do stop and check your pass or that you paid when you came in the park from one of the other entrances. Be sure to stick around to after the credits for bonus video. I have several things to show you. I will show you Jumbo Rock Campground. I will show you when I exit the park over back by Joshua Tree, California, where I entered. And of course, I will tell you the winner of the drawing for the free Android tablet I'm giving away. So stay tuned for all of that. Remember, if you like the video, it really helps my channel if you'll give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe which will also help my channel. And remember, here's the maps I promised you before the credits. Please feel free to pause the video to study the maps as much as you need to.
before I show you Jumble Rock Campground video, I thought I would show you a map of the campground. It is a good size, 124 camping sites, I believe. No RVs over 25 feet in length, and I believe RV trailers no longer than 30 foot in length. Jumble Rock Campground lies amid the huge steep rock formations for which Joshua Tree National Park is known. Close proximity to many boulders and rock formations. It is a popular camping location for families and kids. Jumble Rock is one of the four campgrounds in the park that requires reservations year round. So if you want to camp here, you need a plan ahead.
here I am coming up on the exit by Joshua Tree, California. This is where I entered the park this morning. And be aware, they check your pass and also if you paid on the way out. Remember, up next is scenes from next week's episode, which will be day two in Joshua Tree National Park. There is so much more to see. Now it's time to announce the winner of the drawing for the free Hi, this Android is Donald Cowboy Biker Cowboy. Adventures here to pick the winner of my first giveaway which is an Android tablet that I'm holding here it's about $150 value the winner will be shipped one new from Amazon I own two of them they come in red and gray at least I think their both colors are still available Anyhow, the drawing or the entry for the drawing ended last night, July 31st, 2021 at 12 o'clock midnight of Mountain Time. I'm here August 1st, 2021. It is 10.06 a.m. I'm in Colorado at the present time and I'm gonna use a random generator to pick the winner. Be aware this is take two because the first one, the winner was my friend Brian Skates and I contacted him and he said, give it away to one of your new subscribers and that was very nice and generous of him. So here we go and uh, I will use this random generator that I just downloaded a while ago. So here we go. Random numbers. And it's on minimal one, maximum 13, number of results one. Mode is random. So there's only 13 people who entered this. So as long as it's not number three, which is Brian Skates, here we go. Number eight. I will look up number eight and come back on and tell you who number eight is. And I'll be contacting them. Congratulations to number eight, which is Joe Adams. I'll be contacting him in a, just a little bit. And Joe, you have to August the 10th to get me your information. Thanks to everyone that entered. And remember, this is my first giveaway. I'll be doing it more. So until next time, have a good one.